Oh, Mr. President. Yes. A uh, mixed bag of news, some bad, some good. Carlson, the missionary, appears to be dead. Uh, the rebels also seem to have broken into a hotel and conducted a miscellaneous shooting of uh, white people with uh, perhaps 50 casualties or maybe even more with 20 maybe dead. But the five official Americans are reported safe and on their way out. Uh, what we seem to have is uh, very confused reports, but some reporting of one, this one violent outburst against uh, Europeans by some kind of a band of rebels. Uh, we have no details on Carlson, and no details on the five official Americans, except that Carlson is dead and the official Americans are okay. Did we just have five official Americans? Five official Americans is what we have. The rest of them were missionaries and so forth. Sir? Rest One consul and other, uh, yes, five U.S. government people. And the rest of them missionaries and some? The rest would be missionaries and uh, families. Hmm. There may be another American family that have been shot, but we don't know. That would be probably among the Europeans that seem to have been in this one wild melee, but the reporting does, doesn't is not that precise. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mike. I think that really is all our body with tonight because I can't imagine anything that sharply will change the picture now. What uh, What time is it? It's now uh, 3 o'clock your time, 4 o'clock our time. It's uh, 11 o'clock in the morning out there. The operation's been going on four or five hours. Do they say anything about the success of it? Well, overall, I think that uh, we've, we've had to put out one or two of these reports in order to prevent the newspapers from saying absolutely nothing happened and it was a bloodless triumph, but uh, uh, overall, the military side of the operation is entirely successful. The U.S. execution, which is the aircraft, appears to have had no, uh, no difficulty whatsoever and there is no U.S. military casualty. There's no change in the report I gave you earlier that the uh, paratroopers have had only two wounded in the process of landing, whether they've had any casualties in the town in the process of clearing it, we don't yet know. Neither do we yet know whether uh, any substantial number of Europeans have been removed from the town, which was one of the things that was our a great worry in the last day, and getting the five official Americans, who were the ones that they kept threatening in their public statements, getting them safe and sound uh, is a very important uh, gain from our point of view. But, so overall, I would say good, but you can't call it all good when there's been this one tragic uh, uh, outburst of murder in a hotel. Hmm. Okay. You don't know how many Americans were in that group? No, sir. There's no uh, identification on that yet. There's a report that there may be one American another report that there may be an American family, but I, now that I think about it, I think that second one is about something. About Are we something. getting, uh, who's reporting this, or is this news service? Uh, the Department of State is taking sifted reports under George Ball's guidance with Bill Brubeck from our office and putting out uh, limited stuff to keep them up to date. What's the source of them? Uh, the source of it is primarily our reporting officer with the task force. We send a, uh, an experienced ex-consul in Stanleyville uh, in with the uh, flights, and he is reporting to the embassy in Leopoldville, and they're reporting to us, so that it's as, as solid as we can get it. Anything from the news services out there? Uh, I haven't seen any of this new stuff on the tickers. The first take on the news services were very good. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, my friend.